Here's a Class D amplifier I built. Uh, pretty much just threw it together from spare parts. I, I didn't buy a single item here. Just had it left over from other projects. Uh, the main driver board there is uh, basically um, a revision and rebuild of Steve Ward's micro uh, solid state Tesla coil. But I uh, basically built it because I wanted to finally scope out the waveforms. My scope's off right now though. Um, and also, I wanted to test out a new uh, Schmidt trigger chip that I found online that works off the 12 volt rail instead of the 5 volt rail, so there's no more need for dual voltage rails. Um, this is a single 12 volt unit, regulated, and basically pretty simple design, almost a direct copy of Steve Ward's, but I use a different uh, snubber cap. And, uh, well, it's not really a snubber, but it does snub voltages, but it's more of a. Um, drain collector cap to be precise. Uh, different MOSFET because uh, I use samples and that's about it. Everything else is the same but I'm modulating it with a uh, SG3525 audio PDOM chip. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Right into where the antenna feedback would be on the solid state Tesla coil driver board which of course I'm not driving a Tesla coil right now. I am driving a little flyback transformer. It is flyback topology, not uh, half bridge or push pill or um, full bridge or ZVS or anything. Just plain old flyback, single ended operation. Little low pass filter there. Some some value of capacitance that I <laughs> just pulled a resistor out of, or and I just pulled a resistor out of my uh, uh, parts bin and two uh, non-polar caps to stick there. I don't even check to see what they were. It, it doesn't really matter. It probably isn't even doing anything, but whatever. And a little speaker. But uh, mostly a proof of concept thing and I wanted to reuse some old boards as you can tell. iPod feeding it. And uh, I'll unplug the speaker and show you just to put the arc in a moment. This iPod has uh, been exposed to a lot of RF and isn't quite the uh, jam it used to be. 